guys, it's Wendy here, back from the desert of my desert island. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad to see you. Well, sort of see you and to say hi to you again. Oh, I missed you guys so much. But I know you had my kayakers who talked to you and I loved watching what they said to you. It was so helpful. I've started my own gratitude jar of things that I am thankful for. And also every day when I wake up and I tend to worry about anything, I think about taking off that backpack of worry and giving it to God, letting him just take it. So I really appreciated what they said to you and I hope you did too. Anyway, today, I just have one verse from our psalm this week that I want to talk to you about. It's from Psalm 119, and the verse is 105. Psalm 119 is a huge chapter. It's one of the biggest chapters, maybe the biggest chapter. I haven't Googled this in the Bible, but it's so long. So verse 105 isn't even the last verse, but it's very famous. You may have memorized it, or you're just really familiar with it. When I was eight, I memorized this verse. Listen and see if it's one you've memorized too. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. When I was eight, I thought that was about camping. And somehow I just thought, okay, God's gonna help me when I go camping. And when I was really camping this past couple weeks out in the desert, I thought a lot about this verse and I realized kind of it is a little bit relevant to camping, but also it has so much more to say to me. And even though it's just one verse, I was amazed as I thought about it because I was walking around in the desert. And I have to tell you, the desert where we go, Dave likes to study archaeology there, is not my most favorite place in the world. There are rattlesnakes, which really scare me because I have a snake problem. And there are black widow spiders. We actually saw black widow spiders. And there are these huge burrows that I don't even know who lives in the big burrows, but it looks like you could fall in and something would be in there waiting to eat you. I don't know. I never saw the animal come out, but there are big holes and it's, oh, yeah, it's scary. And, oh, and there were grasshoppers, like as big as mice that just kind of rise up and hit you as you're walking along. So you're doing a lot of looking down at your feet and your boots and you're thinking, ah, ah, I hope I'm walking in the right place. But at the same time, my, my trusty researcher would say to me, Wendy, set a compass bearing for 280, which means I would turn this little dial on this compass and then I would line up the arrows so that the north arrow was in the right place. And then I would point it at some sort of a landmark, like a hill or a bush, hopefully something that didn't move. And then we would try to walk towards that. So it's kind of both things. You're looking at your feet, trying not to step on these scary things. And you're also trying to see where you're going. And as I was thinking about this verse this week, I was thinking this is a lot like this verse because your word, it says, is a lamp to my feet, to, my, to where I am right now, right? But it's also a light for my path, for where I'm going in the future. And I started thinking about what that means. And I have to say that I really felt better when I started thinking about that because it made me think God's word, the Bible, is relevant now to what I'm dealing with right at this very minute. But it also helps me with what's coming, with the scary things that I don't know. Like, will I see my friends again? What's gonna happen with school this year? Am I gonna get sick? All those things that are kind of in the future we don't know about. God's word helps us with that. So you may wonder, how does God's word, how does the Bible actually help me with that. And I want to give you a very concrete challenge this week. Um, I want you to figure out for the summer, if you know how to read, pick a book of the Bible, maybe ask an adult that you really respect, or just pick one that you've always wanted to read and decide to read a few verses in that book of the Bible every day. If you don't know how to read yet, 
Ask an adult to read with you every day. Make it like just something you just do, like brushing your teeth, something you do every day. And when you sit down with God's word, this living word that isn't just a book, but it's actually God's talking to us, pray first. Say, God, what do you want to show me as I read today? And then as you read, read it listening. What does he want to say to you? And afterwards, think about one part that you can hold on to as you go about your day. So I'd like to challenge you all to do that for now as well as for the future. Take his word. Let it be a lamp to your feet a light to your feet and a lamp to your path. I love you guys. I'm so glad to be back and I can't wait to hear from you. If you want to email me or text me or write me a letter, I miss you guys so much. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.